Hi guys, this is Cat's Diary, welcome back! If you browse through our channel, you will find a video in which we took the cats to the vet. Of course, to do that we need a transportation box and I showed you how to secure it. Now, after the video was made, I posted to my brother Heidi and I show it how we secure the box and then she made a video of herself, how is she doing that. So, it is a bit different way, but this isn't here about who's right and who's wrong, because this is no competition. But I want to show you what is the difference and the outcome will be shown to you later. But first, I will show you what is definitely the wrong way. Well, I can still see the owner coming to the vet's office with the cats or any other animals in a carton box. Well, my dear, this is absolutely not the way you need to do it. I know you may be thinking that this way your animal will have more space and will be easier to breed. Well, no, don't think that way. Uh, I will show you with my Jinx. So I put him into the carton box, I lock him into the car and based on his character I was expecting he will be all over the place. But guess what? He was once more not cooperating with me. So it turned out he's more like a sissy. But trust me, don't be fooled by that because if I start the engine now he will be definitely all over the place and I don't know what's gonna happen. Imagine he ends up under the braking pedal just in a second I will need to brake. Or better say don't imagine that, just don't do something like that. Because if you do have an animal, cat, dog or any other one, browse over the internet and get yourself a box. Now plastic box like this only costs 10 euros or even less. So if you have an animal, invest into that because this is the way you are also investing into yours and your animal safety. So let's see now how to secure the box and we will start in front seats. And now I'll show you the right way. Uh, box is here. First we need to switch off the airbags, then I take the seat belt through this thing here and we plug it in like this. It's fixed. Now I'm gonna do a little demonstration for you. Here are two boxes. One is secured, another one is not. And both are empty, so no worries, there will be no harm to anyone. Now we are accelerating up to 100 kilometers per hour and then we're hitting the brake. So the speed will drop to about 50 kilometers per hour and see what happens. Now, perhaps it doesn't look that ugly to you, but imagine we involved ourselves in an accident when we have to brake in, I don't know, an object in front of us, even in about 50 kilometers per hour. Now that where things get ugly, the outcome can be even deadly. So if we secure the box properly, Either way, so my way or Heidi's way is good because the box will remain where it should be and where we left it. But then when we were doing the shooting, I was start thinking something else. What about the position itself? Now, think about it. Here is the box and when cat is inside the box, it's usually in this position. So in case of a crash, what happens? She will fall like this. So it's highly likely the cat will damage the head. Now, if I put the box like this, so in case of a crash, the cat will hit like this. So the force of the impact will be distributed on the more surface of the body. So each point of the body will have less force of the impact. So basically it's going to be less painful, which meaning also less damage as possible. But the thing is that is just my thinking. There is no actual crash test had been made with an animal. So I have absolutely no scientific grounds for this. 
So I said at the start, this is no competition. So basically there is no winner. But what also Heidi told me as an advice she usually give to the future owners of her cats is that you always have the box into the apartment or into the house because if you let it there and it's open sooner or later your cats will be interested what is inside and perhaps you also put some toys or maybe even food inside and trust me she will go there she will become comfortable with the box and next time you will do the transportation there will be no problems at all so thank you guys for watching the video if you like it please subscribe we will be back shortly with new stories from Cat's Diary. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.